Hey everybody, this is meteorologist Brad Panovich with your Ski Southeast update. Bad news for the last two weeks, been warm, it's been raining, horrible conditions. But good news tonight, things are flipping. The pattern is finally changing going into the upcoming weekend and we're going to see a significant cool down that could stick around well into February. Let's get to the good details first. Nor'easter moving up the coast tonight is actually bringing a northwest flow which is allowing for snow to move into areas of West Virginia and Maryland and even Virginia. Good dusting to a couple inches, some wet, heavy stuff. Problem is, it's not really that cold behind the nor'easter. This is just kind of topography-driven stuff. we got to wait for this next front. This is the real deal moving in a Thursday. This will bring in cold air and, look at this, more northwest flow. Look at that cold air coming off the Great Lakes. Perfect setup for northwest flow, maybe for a couple of days this weekend. On top of all that, it's going to be cold enough to make snow. Here's the snow with the nor'easter, but watch the next batch of snow. See it coming through the Ohio Valley? That's the cold front, the Canadian front that's moving in Thursday. And notice how we start to see the snow totals go back up by Thursday into Friday. Now, it's not going to be cold enough the next two days, so no snow making really for Tuesday and Wednesday. It's really going to be Thursday that things crank up as the cold air moves in. And once the cold air moves down, there's signs it could stick around for a couple days. In fact, looking up into Canada, you'll see the cold air trying to build up here. Look at all that below zero reading going on over the pole. There's sign that the polar vortex is going to weaken. Up in the stratosphere, I look for warming, something we call sudden stratospheric warming. There looks like there could be two events over the next week or so, which means over the next several weeks, the barrier to the Arctic air will weaken. That means the polar vortex weakens and allows for cold air to dive into North America. So there are a lot of signs that that's going to happen. If you look next, this is next Thursday, look at the movement of the below zero temperatures coming south. Big ridge building over the Alaskan Gulf. That usually prompts a trough to develop over the East Coast. So this is all this points to a cold and stormy pattern going into February. So overall, this is a good setup. Now, here's that northwest flow I talked about for the weekend. So in the short term, we can, we can, we can, we can have fantasies about that long-range pattern later. But you could see this northwest flow setting up Friday, Saturday, even into Sunday. So this weekend, of the last three weekends, this will by far be the best setup. And if we look long-range, here comes that northwest flow Thursday into Friday. And again, I think the European model underdoes some of the northwest flow. But it shows a snowy, cold pattern through the middle of next week and maybe more snow after that. So finally, after a thaw that's lasted two whole weeks, the pattern is flipped. And the good news, it doesn't look like it's going to be short-lived. It looks like this could last us well into February. So snowmakers in the southeast, once it turns cold, blow, blow, blow snow because this might be the last really long cold snap we get to blow snow and get a good base down to get us through the rest of the season. As far as significant storms, still a little early to kind of pinpoint anything, but the one thing we've had this entire winter, even through the ups and downs of temperatures, we've had storms. In fact, we've had a really wet thaw this go around. It was a thaw, but we had a ton of rain in the southeast. So the good news, at least we're going to see moisture and possibly cold air sink up. So keep your fingers crossed. But this weekend, oh, finally the pattern flips. Good weekend to hit the slopes. Remember, think snow. I'll have another update coming up later this week as we go into the weekend.